James Madison, fourth president of the United States. <laughs> With the legal assistance of Mr. Bill Lewis, the resident of Cambridge, Massachusetts. And the reason is because I have noticed that speaking for James Madison, people who would ignore Bill Lewis will line up to hear James Madison say exactly the same thing. So, <laughs> the concerns that we had in 1790, the great battle between me and Alexander Hamilton was over money. Who would have the power to issue money? Would it be a private bank? And of course, Alexander Hamilton won on that one. We have a private bank that controls our money which I find horrifying. But I know you have no power over that here in Massachusetts. But what you do have power over is the other side of money. Hamilton also was very insistent that we should subsidize our manufacturing, something I again found despicable. Let a company fail or succeed on its own merits. It does not need the government's money. I have read a report from Susan Bump, your state auditor, Two billion dollars a year are spent in subsidies for your greatest corporations. Subsidies which she has not been able to find any evidence that the Commonwealth has received anything of value from. And that is what I wish to present to you, that you should consider eliminating subsidies to our great corporations. Speaking as someone who is quite wealthy, I have looked up your tax codes. I know that if I lived in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, I should pay approximately 6% of my total income in Massachusetts taxes. Whereas the young men and women who work at Mr. McDonald's Hamburger Emporium, <laughs> they pay upwards of 10%. Let me assure you, we rich people, we are fine. We do not need free money from the common folk. <laughs> I thank you. I'm rich. I can afford to pay my taxes. 